from time to time you may record some videos and stop in the middle or want to try something different and then decide all of a sudden that you want those two videos combined together. So what this tutorial is going to do is show you how to take two different videos on your iPhone and put them together. So you can have the first one and then immediately after that you could either do a transition or it goes directly into the second one. So this is really good if you stop and restart recording a lot of the times and you're like, ah, oh, I should have kept recording altogether, but I didn't. So you can put them together, remove the transition and it'll look more natural. Great for things, family videos and business videos, YouTube videos, everything along those lines. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin from HelpfulTutorials.net. Today we're going to go ahead and show you how to do this. This article will also be on the website, so you can check that out. A link will be down below if you're still confused and you want the step-by-step -step directions with pictures. That's how it'll help you out. So first we want to go ahead and find it. So we're going to go ahead and choose App Store. And it's iMovie. So we're going to go ahead and select that. Here you can see it's made by Apple, so this is a good one to trust. Let's go ahead and choose to download that. Now it's downloading, we'll just wait for it to finish. Now that it's complete, let's go ahead and select iMovie. It'll come up and explain a bit about iMovie. Go ahead and choose continue. Now we want to create a project. So we're going to go ahead and hit the plus sign. It's going to ask movie or trailer. We're going to go ahead and just choose the movie. We're going to select some footage. I'm going to go ahead and just choose the Clash Royale gameplay I made. So I'm going to choose that and hit create movie. And now we have it in the movie area. So now we can go ahead and test it. But what I want to do first is I want to get another clip in here. So you can go ahead and hit the plus sign here. And you can go ahead and choose what you want. We're going to go ahead and choose video. We'll choose recently added. And we'll choose the first clip at the top and we'll hit the plus sign. So now the video is automatically 2 minutes and 42 seconds because it combined them. You can slide to the side to get through them. And now let's go ahead and move over to where Clash Royale was. Alright, so this was Clash Royale. So if I play it, you'll see it's playing. There's a transition and then it goes into Pokemon. So the transition here, I'll go real slow. It's a fade type transition. We can go ahead and tap on it and you can change the kind of transition you would like or you could just choose none. You could also choose how long it is as well. And here I'm just gonna go and choose fade. And then it'll fade in. I do have a little extra stuff here at the end. Let's go ahead and try to remove some of that garbage at the end. Good. Now let's try one more time. Now I think I have a little more possibly on both sides. So let's do both sides here. Play it again. There we go. Now we have a good transition between the games and no problems. So all you want to do is go ahead and choose done at the top left. It's going to give you this screen. You can play it, you can save it, or you can delete it. So you'll hit the square with the arrow. And you just want to scroll down and choose save video. It'll ask you how you want it. I would go ahead and choose the highest number because that's the best quality unless you are really low on storage space on your phone, but I would pretty much try to do as high as you can go. So it depends on the clips, it'll be HD 720p, probably will be the highest. Unless you have a newer phone, you may get some 1080p. So let's go ahead and choose 720. Now it's gonna export the movie into your phone. So once this is done, you are all set. Now you can do this with anything. I did it with gameplay just to kind of make it easier, but you can do it with either types of videos, horizontal or vertical. I choose this mode just because it makes it easier to record videos, but you can hold the phone sideways as well and work on it that way. And the movie is exported. Awesome. So now we could go into our 
photos and find the video and share it and play it. And when you make little montages like this of family, you could add pictures in here too. You don't have to use videos all the time. You could add a bunch like a slideshow going on and then it fades over to the next picture. And it'll be people will be pretty impressed that you've made your own videos on your iPhone just like this. So I really hope this helped. If it did, please do me a favor, smack that like. I would really appreciate it. Here are some more videos I know you'll enjoy and thank you so much for the view.